give you permission to come back, correct? You lied to your sister to get in. You ran away. Go, we damn close Ooh, you can give me something I can pray for No angel, but you got a halo When it's guys like this I really wanna be right here I really wanna take you there You're there When it's like this I really wanna be right here I really wanna take you there What's up, y'all? It's me, Marie, and I'm back with another freaking video. All right, y'all, we taking it back to the old days, like when I first started my channel a couple months ago. We got Hayden right here. Sorry that he, um, it was just crying because he wants his gloves on. I put his gloves on, then he wanted me to take them off. Then when I took him off, he's crying. I don't know. It's one year old problems. Like, I feel like he's in his terrible twos already. But, so, we got Hayden in the video, and I, see? Okay, let me put one on. All right, so I felt like we should have him in this story today. One, because he wouldn't stay with his aunt so I could record. Two, because this story has to do with him. Oh my God, Hayden, stop. Hi, lay back. All right, yes, the story has to do with him. So this is going to be the story on the night I got pregnant. Okay, this story, you know, normally I wouldn't do a story time like this because the night I got pregnant, you know, but for most people, it's just, you know, you do what you do, you get pregnant, that's it. All right, so I'm not going to give much backstory on his dad, um, because if you want to know how we met and all that, I have a video on losing my virginity story time, and I kind of give a little backstory about us. I don't know. I might do a video itself about all of that, but, I, but I'm not sure yet. So, like I said, this story is crazy, okay? So I'm going to need y'all to, I'm going to need y'all to grab y'all popcorn, y'all I'll, um, drink whatever and just sit down and listen to the story because this is a good one okay so I'm gonna tell you how it all started out and I'm not really gonna go back that much into the like back situation with me and my mom but I'm 15 years old you know that's the rebellious stage when you start not want to listen to your parents and so me and my mom was just always head to head okay like always always having a problem with each other always arguing always fighting and this is summer 2017 I believe so so one day, you know, she got sick of my sh I got sick of her sh and we had got into it and one of my friends was staying over and I felt like she embarrassed me in front of my friends like don't do that like you don't have to be extra in front of my friends so I had got mad I had got big and bold oh before I get into the story time you're probably wondering why I got on this hat and I just want to disclaim right now it's not coding here or anything I just didn't lay my wig up under this so I just put the hat on to like you know and plus it's winter so it's kind of like winter vibes all right anyways back into the story okay so we had got into it and she was just like going off at the mouth trying to I felt like she was trying to embarrass me You know 15 year old me. I'm like a bull. Okay, like we was just going at it and and so my friend was planning on leaving and her and her mom didn't have the best situation either so she was like she was moving to South Carolina was it South Carolina? No, Greensboro she was moving to Greensboro and so but it was gonna be a couple days before she could go up there so basically you know we were just gonna hang out or hang around until she could go up there where she was so I was like you know what I'm going with you my mom is getting on my nerves I'm going with ASMR so um she was like, she was going to Greensboro, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going with you. So, I had a bag of my clothes, and I had threw it out, because my room was on the second floor. Before I moved into the tiny house, my room has always been on the second floor. So, I threw my clothes from out there, and when I was, t I told my mom that I was going to make sure her ride is here or whatever, and whenever her ride came, I ran to the back porch, I got my stuff, and I got in the car with her. And I will never forget that feeling of like, oh my God, like, I really just did this shit. Like, I really just packed my clothes and I ran away. Uh, I ran away a couple times. I might do some story times on then. We get to our first destination which is my cousin's house. So I knew I was going to be safe or, or whatever there. And so that week we were just, you know, turning up having fun. And if you read my um, story time on 16 and Pregnant, do you know that was the time that we went to that party and me and my friends we was all together so we were just having fun at my cousin's house um she didn't know that i had ran away because if she knew that i had ran away and i was at her house she definitely would have told my mama but my older sister had already left the house too because her and my mama had gotten to it and that's where my older sister was staying so we had went there first and then when our time was up there after we was everybody's like okay well what are we gonna do now like um we have to go somewhere so basically my 15 year old self no i was just this is 16 freshly 16 like i just had to turned 16 the month before in May 16 about to be 17 no I was basically still 15 
we go to another house which is the house that we all that that party was at so we told him like can we stay or whatever because my friend was already talking to the dude so it was his house so um he let us stay or whatever so we stayed there for like a day or two and then he was like it was like okay well we need to go like uh, we're not finna stay here like stay at this dude's house we need to go somewhere else so we go to another house basically y'all we was 16 years old house hopping we didn't have a car at all our phones weren't even on because my mom had cut my phone off that because I, I ran away so my phone wasn't even on so i wasn't talk to, talking to my mama i was the only person in my family i was talking to was my sister malaysia um let her know you know i'm safe i'm good or whatever or what my next move was what i was about to do so um the first house that we went with the party or whatever they had a good house you know it was clean it was okay you know we had food but the second house that we went to was ghetto. Oh my God. It was so ghetto. It was in the hood. If you know me, I didn't grow up in the hood. I don't know nothing about the hood. I don't do that. So I was just realizing, you know, how good I had it at home. I was low-key like, I low-key want to go back home. This life is not for me. I am not about this life at all. I want to go home. But I wasn't trying to show my mama that, you know, like, little 16-year-old hard-headed me. Like, I can do what I want to. I'm going to prove to you that I'm a bad and I don't have to listen to you and I don't need you but yeah so after we stayed at that second house and we had to take showers there believe i took a shower there like and then like every house we would go to the boys there would be trying to mess with us like trying to get with us and stuff like that i didn't know the dudes but my friends knew them like she was the one making the moves for us i didn't know whose house we were going to next i didn't text nobody asking can we stay with them nothing my friend knew what moves we were going to who was going to take us there etc so <clears throat> Once we got there, they will all be trying to talk to us. Like, I didn't even feel comfortable sleeping. Because I'm like, I don't know. Like, what if somebody done something to me in my sleep? And then on top of that, I was getting high as a freaking kite, okay? So high. And I'm a high, the type of high that I am. I have two high me's. I have the high me that's, like, laughing. Everything is funny as shit. Like, I'm just going to keep laughing, which is me most of the time. But normally when I'm going through something and I'm getting high because I'm going through something, it's the thinking high. Like, I get to thinking about life and I'm just, like, paranoid and shit. So, I know I'm not the only person that's like that. Like, it's two different high or, or you know, you get two different drunks. Like, my friend, she's a crybaby drunk and then she's the fun drunk. Like, you just get either or depending on how you're doing in life at that point. So, yeah, at this point I was going through shit, obviously. So, I was in my overthinking paranoid high. No, I think I'm gonna die. So I would be scared to even go to sleep because I'm like, oh my gosh, what if somebody tries to do something to me? What if somebody tries to hit me? Or like anything because I'm in the hood. I always hear stories about the hood, how that is. Like, I don't know. I was just scared or whatever. So we finally leave that house. And then from that house, our last destination, the dude that she's going with next. Okay, though, we took one. We went to another house after that. Um, this dude's, this boy's house was nice or whatever. He was talking to my friend already, so, you know, he let us stay. His house was nice, you know, he was good. He wasn't on, or none of his friends was on that, you know, extra stuff. Then, when she's going to this last house, she's like, okay, well, I can stay at this boy's house, but, you know, his mom or whoever it was, she was like, only, um, it was her ex-boyfriend. So, his mom was like... I said her name, but um, his mom was like, she could stay, but you know, she didn't know me like that, so, because, you know, she stayed there before, because, you know, that was her boyfriend or whatever, so that that was okay, but not to both of us, so at that point, I was like, oh my gosh, like, what am I going to do? Like, we stayed there the day, but, like, once it got nighttime, I had to figure out where I was going to go, basically, you know, so I was just, like, contemplating, you know, should I just go home, but then I was like, no, like, my mom's probably going to, like, literally going to whoop my ass, like, literally going to beat the hell out for real, because I'm not going to lie, I was a disrespectful kid, like, I was very disrespectful, but but, um, yeah, so I was like, no, my, the boy who took my virginity, what we call him, Jack, Jack, um, he had just got out of jail, like, a little bit ago, so I hit him up, and I was just like, because if you've seen the first video, my Lose My Virginity story time, then you already know, like, we just cool like that, like, that's just us, so I hit him up, and, you know, I told him what was going on, which, if it was any other nigga, I would not tell them what's going on with my mama and stuff, like, talking what's going on, I was like, I want to, can I stay with you, he was like, yeah, of course, so he got one of his friends to, um, 
picked me up from my friend's ex-boyfriend's house that she was staying at and he finally got there um because her ex-boyfriend and jack are cousins i think so he was like oh, i already know where he stay you know i'm just i'm gonna come get you so he came and got me you know i was happy excited because i didn't have to go home and then plus you know he had just got out of jail and you know he picked me up but yeah so they took me to his house and basically you know i didn't even know that his um, <laughs> I didn't even know that his mama didn't know that I was there. Um, like I was, I was coming. I was coming to stay. I just felt like you know, with boys, like if Caden's like 18 and he wants a girl to come stay, shush. Caden's 18. He wants a girl to come stay with him. Like he's 18 years old. What do you mean? Or right, so he was 17, I think. He was 17, not. No, he was 18 when I was 16. But yeah, and then you know, his his persona is like kind of hood. So I was just kind of figuring, you know, their moms don't really care. Bless you, baby. She didn't know, so he basically snuck me in all my clothes and stuff. And so I stayed there the first night. We was just watching, um, not YouTube. Bless you. We was watching Netflix, and I made him watch Moana with me. Cause that that um, summer Moana was like my movie. Like me and my girls, we watch Moana. So I was like, you know, you have to watch Moana. Oh, yeah. So we watched Moana. We went to sleep. The next morning I woke up. He was like, okay, I got to go do some. Baby, you're going to mess my audio up with that. The fact that I have to give him little bites so I can record. Yeah. He was like, I got stuff to do. Yeah. You, know, you know, they be out doing what they yeah. do. What they boys or whatever. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So, you know, yeah. I was just chilling Stop. in his house for like Stop. a couple days. Or whatever. Yeah. Of course, one, the nigga just got out of jail. You already know what he want. Two, I'm staying with this nigga every night and he's getting me food he's you know making sure i'm straight all that and then on top of that he's the boy i lost my virginity to so obviously you know we're gonna do stuff so we did i remember the night specifically i feel like the exact night that i know that it had to happen was because you know he straight up told me like he was not gonna pull out and little 60 year old me i'm just like you really need not pull out like i don't even barely know about sex but i'm not here being grown anyway but yeah yeah, so he just was like telling me he was just like well he was doing it he was like I'm I'm saying I'm staying in it I'm staying in I was like what? I was <laughs> okay but like I just love that like what you mean you're staying in it but I was on birth control okay I was on the depot shot that's what I'm saying y'all still use protection still be safe even if you're on birth control because a lot of times it doesn't work so you know i'm just like we in the heat of the moment where i'm gonna be like no get off of me no so i love how i'm rocking like <laughs> and how he's rocking like that's how you got here but um yes yeah, so though it just happened and then after like i realized because usually you know we have to clean stuff up i realized like he really really did not because we didn't have to clean anything up so you know we just watched netflix like it was kind of silent like I feel like most of the time when stuff like that happens, like you kind of look back and you think like, yeah, I should have knew. It was just like the awkwardest, like, I feel like he knew he messed up. Me in my head, I'm just like, mm -hmm. okay, like I don't know what to do. I'm 16 years old, you know. <laughs> Try to be grown and I don't even know anything. That's the night I feel like I definitely got pregnant. It had to be that night. But after that, you know, I didn't tell him um, I was pregnant or anything like that. And y'all, y'all want to know the most ironic thing. Thing. and I kid you not if my mama was home she would vouch for me and I might just go get a clip of her um after when she gets home so I can insert it when me and my mama was arguing and I literally told her I said if I have to get pregnant to get away from you because you know I was thinking like once you have a baby you're basically independent like you can move away you can you're basically on your own now so I said if I have to have a baby to get away from you I will be careful what you say okay the power I don't know the Bible scripture but the something about the power of the tongue it's real okay I feel like I definitely spoke it on myself or I freaking manifested it or whatever you know I don't regret it for no nothing nothing because I love him to death I wouldn't have this YouTube channel if I didn't have him I wouldn't be getting paid if I didn't have him I wouldn't have so many different opportunities if it was not for me having him honestly and that's just true mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna just tell y'all you know after that after I stayed with him for like a week and a half I finally had him take me home 
And y'all, the craziest thing is the dude he had take us home was a dude, one of the dudes my friend was talking to. We stayed at his house for like a night or two. So it was just kind of weird. I was just in the back seat of the truck like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah he took me home i went home thank god my mom was at work y'all wait 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 i have footage i kid you not i have footage of when i came home and my mom was mad at my sister because she let me in the house y'all i will insert that right here because y'all know i always come with the receipts baby always what'd you say uh i don't know Telling me not to be in your house, correct? Did I give you permission to come back? Correct. You lied to your sister to get in. You ran away. Um, so any receipts I have and I'll go through and find them, you know, I always put them on the receipt on the on the screen So I'm gonna go through and find that snap, but I think that's gonna be the end of this video I went home, you know, didn't find out I was pregnant then I found out But you know if you want to see all that I have a video for it already so you can go see that or You can go see the losing my virginity video, you know to get some more backstory into this Or if you just want to know how crazy my life is you can go watch my other story times because I'm freaking crazy So that's gonna be the end of this video. Make sure you like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit that subscribe button we almost at 16k baby what it do baby say baby yeah what it do we about to hit 16k period period mm. <laughs> all right that's in this video mwah roll me kiss roll me kiss say mwah i really wanna take you there